Yo, what's going on, my fellow nerds in the hood? It's your boy Big Smooth with another review. You know, we about to talk about that Titans. And it's going to be some spoilers, so check it out. If you ain't seen it on the DC Universe app, check it out and come back and holler at your boy because we're going to talk about the show. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, to let you know, this show may not be for kids. The show is violent as hell. Had me shocked at what I was seeing for a TV show that you seen like Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. And it's really, really is a kids TV show. You know what I mean? It's really kids friendly. So I was expecting some really kid friendly going into this Titans. But boy, was I wrong. I know on the trailer they had Robin uh, with the fuck Batman line, but I thought that might have been it, but, yo, they get violent on here, like, this is, this episode was probably rated M for Mature, or PG-13 Borderline, it was, it was real close, you know what I mean, and what I liked about the show was, like, it took time to start off with each individual character, and sort of kind of touched on who they was, because, uh, first we kick off with Raven, and she's at the crib with her mom. And this uh, dude come knock on the door. And apparently he's been looking for Raven because he knows what's inside of her, the demon, that she don't even know. And apparently her mother knew something that she wasn't telling her. Because the dude put a gun to her mom's head and made the mom say, yo... I'm not your daughter, I'm not your daughter, but I love you. And as soon as she was about to to say something, the mom was about to say something, yo, dude blew her damn brains out. Like, boom, you see the blood, the bullet go through the head, the puddle on the floor when she laying down. And Raven went into, like, this little demonic rage and, like, pushed him back. And she ran. And, because, uh... She was in Michigan. I forget what city it was, somewhere out in Michigan. And uh so she had so she bounced, she ran. And uh after that we see uh Dick Grayson for the first time, aka Robin, and he's a detective in Detroit. And he's pretty much a cop that nobody liked because he don't want to work with a partner because he kept saying he's from Gotham and his old partner was an ass. Meaning Batman, but everybody thinking partner like ex cop. So Robin's kind of off on his own. He's a loner, and uh, they show him walking around the police station doing his little. You see his little interactions of his like daily routine. Then at nighttime, he's in this alley, and these dudes is committing these crimes. And there's probably like ten of them, and yo, Robin beat the brakes out of these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, Robin whipped their ass, and he was extremely, extremely violent about it, I'm talking about violent, Robin was more violent in this than Batman versus Superman with Batman in the warehouse scene, and everybody knew thought Batman was violent then, well, like, that comes straight out of Arkham, the video game, like, Robin was more violent than that. Like, not Deadpool violent, but when he's fighting some of the things that just make you like, oh, like, oh, God, Robin, why'd you do that to him? You know what I'm saying? Then after he whipped all the ass, then he got hit with the fuck Batman line. And then uh, they go overseas somewhere. I forget where it's at. Overseas somewhere and it's like the motherfucking Russia somewhere. And we meet Starfire, and uh, she kind of has amnesia right now, and don't really know what's going on, or know who she is, you know what I'm saying? And uh, apparently she's been in bed with some uh, mobster type dudes, and she was uh, talking to the mobster guy, and he was talking about how he betrayed them, stuff like that, but she didn't know what he was talking about, and... Dude pulled out a gun and tried to shoot her. And when the bullet got close, like, the bullet just melted. 
And like she had like these fire powers, little like like the Phoenix Force fire, you know what I mean? And she lit him up where my boy turned into a pile of dust. Like he was a dust body just standing there, then like a couple seconds later the whole body melt down. So she's over there in like Western Europe somewhere and she don't know who she is. She don't know her name. You know what I'm saying? She got these powers, she don't really know where they came from. And at the very very end, it was like at a it looked like a like a blockbuster video type of movie rental store where it was a security guard in there. He playing PlayStation late night, you know what I mean? Just like watching the store. Then you hear all this noise rumbling in the aisle and you see this big ass tiger. And he starts shooting at the tiger, bong, 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 start dumping on the tiger. The tiger bounce out and get out to the woods. And he transformed back into human form. And you see his beast boy, and he just still in video games, you know what I mean? Then he chuckled, and pretty much that's how, how the show ended. It was pretty much, you got a lot of raving. The, the, the show is pretty much like, I would say, maybe out of the first hour, I would say like 40% raving. Probably like 30% Robin, you know what I mean, Starfire, then Beast Boy was like not even a percent, he was like the very end, like a extra credit scene, you know what I'm saying, the way they just show him, so they probably introduce again his, his character uh, more in the, uh, in the next episode, which will come out next week, you know what I mean, but uh I like what they did, because I don't really know much about Raven, because I wasn't really never really a Titans fan. I know who they are, just because, you know what I mean, it's comic books, you know what I'm saying? Who don't know who the Titans are, but I don't know all their backstories. Like, I know Raven is the daughter of Trigon, and Star Fox is an alien, you know, Robin is damn Batman's right-hand man, and I know uh, Beast Boy used to be with a clique called the Doom Patrol, and something happened, and he left out of there, you know what I'm saying? And they also touch with, uh, he didn't really get into the deep specifics, but, uh, Robin was pretty much talking about the reasons why he, uh, left Gotham and didn't want to be, uh, Batman's partner no more. And, um, that was pretty much the gist of the first episode. Yo, I liked it, you know what I'm saying? I really loved that dark tone. Like, if you was a fan of the DC movies and you like that dark tone, you're going to feel it. If you wanted some kitty kitty jokey jokey Teen Titans Go, Teen Titans cartoon type stuff, you, know, you might be disappointed because this definitely wasn't that. This is definitely not tailored to kids. It's more for adults. You know what I mean? Them diehard comic book fans. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know how accurate the storylines is to all how the comic books is, but we're having a DC app. I can go back. And catch up and read up on the, some of the old issues of Teen Titans and see who they are and their backstories, the origins, where they came from, and how they came together. And I can check that out for the backstories and I can par uh, put that towards the TV show and do a comparison to see the differences of the origin material from the comics and what they changed up or what they kept the same for the uh, for the TV show. But I'm. The, the, the show was definitely good. Go check it out. You know what I mean? It's called Titans. It's on the DC app. You got to go subscribe to the app. You got to go get it. It was like seven bucks a month. But with that seven bucks, it's mad movies on there. DC movies. You got the animated movies. You got mad cartoons. You got tons of comic books to read. So you'll definitely get your $7 worth. You know what I mean? And... Yo, check it out. That's Titans, the first episode. Yo, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Yo, I was definitely feeling it. I'm definitely feeling the dark, dark uh, tone of it and how I was going. And I can't wait to the next episode, you know what I'm saying? So go out there and check it out. And I hope you like my review. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for a brother, you know what I'm saying? We nerds in the hood. Let's build this community up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to be from the hood. You can be from the suburbs, wherever. You know what I'm saying? You like comic books. You like that type of culture, that type of stuff. Yo, this is the spot. You know what I mean? 
So make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night waiting for this goddamn Titans. Because it didn't show to 6 a.m. You know what I'm saying? They should let a brother know. And I go to set my alarm, went to sleep and woke up. But, you know, it is what it is. It's 8 a.m. Your boy's about to take it down. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. You know what I'm saying? Yo, until next time, y'all. Peace.